Good morning or evening ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how to find a maximum, minimum and average of a number from a set of numbers from a given data in Excel. As you can see, today we're going to look at a data related to diving. I have already added the information in. Now we're going to change the theme of the data as I want it to look more better. So we go to page layout, go to the themes tab, and click the themes drop down menu. And now I'm going to click the theme flow. You can see that the colors have somewhat changed and the font has changed too. First we're going to find the average of the depth and duration swam. And we're also going to find the maximum and minimum duration of the depth of the dives later onwards. To find the average, first we add an equal sign as it's one of the most important things in the formula as without it the formula would not get calculated. In all caps write average, so the number you choose would be average. Open the bracket, open a bracket, and select all the data that you want to be averaged in the depth column. Close the bracket and click enter. Now you've got the average for depth. To make life easier for you, instead of making the formula all over again in the duration column, just click on this answer cell which you did previously, which is in cell B11, B11, and drag it over to cell C11. Now you can see that it has automatically averaged the duration. Now we have decided to add two more dates in our data. So we click on the row 11 because above it we need to add more, um, more rows. So we go to the Home tab, click Insert, and Insert Sheet Rows. And click another one as we're making two did. Watch carefully as I enter the following data. Now you can see the average in cell B13 has changed due to the new added data. Now we find the maximum and minimum deaths and durations, like we did the average, except we type it in all caps max and min. Watch carefully as I do it. So I put the equal sign. Instead of average in all caps, we write max, as we're finding the maximum. Open the bracket, select all the data, close the bracket. Click enter. Click the saw on the previous answer and drag it to the next column. Put an equal sign, type in all caps and then as you find the minimum, select all the data, close the bracket, click enter, click the saw of the previous answer and drag it over to the right for the next column. Now you got all the data you need. I hope you understood and will follow these rules in your own Excel practices. I hope you enjoyed my video. Stay tuned for more.